Max and our team sneak back into the majestic hotel ballroom and they go backstage. When they push back the curtain, there's Wendy Wattage. What are you doing back here? There's a killer on the loose. Keep your voice down. Snooky is on the other side of this curtain. She's about to announce our raffle prize winners. You know, I actually won a car when I was just a young girl. What kind of a raffle is it? A water bottle raffle. Your empty water bottle is a raffle ticket to win yoga mats and exercise bikes. What a great incentive. People need to drink more water since almost half of the added sugars in our diet come from sugary drinks like regular soda pop, energy drinks, and even fruit juices. People forget they need to drink water. It's a real problem. There's a murderer on the loose. You fought with Marilyn. Marilyn Macaroni? Trust me, she's no longer a threat. I know. My Moscati's killed her. If this is your confession, I'm not surprised. They should have locked you up long ago. Max didn't kill Marilyn. She purposely poisoned herself before she was stabbed to death. Where's Dolores? My bookkeeper? She should be in her office. It's right through the door and up the stairs. You can't climb stairs and skate. Mom, stay down here. Oh, for heaven's sake. I was in the roller derby. If I can survive those scrapes and falls, I can survive these stairs. Once our team reaches the top of the stairs, they find Wendy Wattage's bookkeeper, Dolores, at her desk busy organizing the payment receipts from Wendy Wattage's retreat. For the last time, this is not a dressing room. Go back downstairs. Dolores, it's Max. Oh, no. Can my son get his check, please? Nope. Not until I finish processing these payments. Now grab that newspaper and wait outside. Do you know the girl Angela Gambino in this article? Angela was my daughter. She lost 75 pounds at Wendy's retreat but couldn't keep it off. Wendy kept track of her weight loss struggles in one of her notebooks over there. Can I take a look? They might have some low-carb dessert recipes. Max walks over to the table, and he begins rifling through Wendy Wattage's old retreat notebooks. I'm sorry about your daughter. Unfortunately, shedding pounds is easier than keeping them off. Research proves metabolism slows. Hormonal changes increase appetites after losing weight. That's why most dieters quickly regain their lost weight. I begged her not to go to Mexico. But Angela thought she needed to be thin to be happy. And I asked them, she lost her insurance and her health care benefits. And couldn't afford the necessary post-surgery care to avoid complications. Staying longer wasn't an option. Can I get back to work now? Just one more thing. Tanya shows Dolores Gambino the retreat schedule that Kitty had handed to him earlier. His time was different than the others. Why is that? This is a staff member's copy. Their times are different than the participants. Now let me get back to my work. Laura Gambino picks up a stack of credit card receipts from her desk. Kitty told us that you asked her to give this updated schedule to Max. With a different start time for the Circle of Light ceremony and the words, all staff must attend. Kitty is talking nonsense. I thought so, too. Until I remembered, I told you and Wendy at the staff meeting that I wouldn't leave the kitchen. That's how you managed to get Max to leave the kitchen. That's why Kitty gave me this fake schedule. You kept tabs on Marilyn all day. You knew you'd find her alone in the kitchen, so you grabbed Max's knife off the counter and you stabbed her. Oh, please. Sheer nonsense. Then escaped using the back stairs. The proof is right here in my hands. Your daughter Angela weighed 278 pounds and was 4'11". It's listed in Wendy's notebook. After you left the kitchen, Marilyn managed to write your daughter's number on Wendy's plate. She couldn't have. Marilyn being Marilyn Macaroni was too busy looking for food. And of all things, spinach. Marilyn knew spinach contained vitamin K, and that's an antidote for the poison. She begged me to call 911, but I didn't lift a finger. Serves her right. 
<gasps> you blame Marilyn for your daughter's death. And she didn't deny it either. Marilyn's reviews forced Gambino's to close. If it didn't, Angela still might be alive. The gourmet Grim Reaper had the nerve to turn her back on me. So I grabbed the knife and stabbed her. And you might have gotten away with it, too, if Marilyn hadn't written those numbers on the plate. Wait a minute. You're not processing payments. That's an online money transfer. I just finished transferring Wendy's money into my account. Reimbursement for overtime. You've been stealing Wendy Wattage blind. You're just as blind as she is. When I realized my fingerprints were on the knife, I managed to waltz right past you. Dolores reaches back into the desk drawer and grabs Max's chef knife. Men never notice women over a certain age. The gleam of the silver blade shines in Max's eyes. It's your turn to die. But just as Dolores is about to stab Max, Mama Rosemary barrels towards her on her roller skates and hip checks Dolores right into the wall. Ow! Dolores slides down the wall and the knife falls out of her hand. Serves you right for trying to hurt my son. Max quickly grabs it. My baby girl is dead. Killing us doesn't solve anything. Marilyn Macaroni was nothing more than dead weight.